Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation for real values of x, let us start by getting rid of this fraction on the left hand side of the equation. And of course, to do this, we need to cross multiply. Now, when we cross multiply, we have that this times 1, that is log to base 2 of x cubed plus 1 minus 2 times log to base 2 of x is equal to this times 1. That is log to base 2 of x squared minus x plus 1 minus 2. Now, the next thing we need to do is to apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. We are going to take up this multiplier 2 to become the power of x. When we do that, on the left hand side, we have log to base 2 of x cubed plus 1 minus log to base 2 of x to the power 2. And this is equal to log to base 2 of x squared minus x plus 1. Now, instead of 2, we are going to write this 2 in terms of log to base 2. Remember that log to base a of a to the power b is equal to b. So that means that we can write this as log to base 2 of 2 to the power 2. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to subtract this logarithm from this one and subtract this logarithm from this one. Now, to do that, you have to remember that log a minus log b is equal to log a over b. Now, applying this law to the left-hand side, we can write this as log to base 2 of x cubed plus 1 divided by x squared. And applying this law to the left-hand side, we can write this as log to base 2 of x squared minus x plus 1 divided by 2 squared, which of course is equal to 4. And of course, now, since log to base 2 of this quantity is equal to log to base 2 of that quantity, then that simply means that x cubed plus 1 divided by x squared must be equal to x squared minus x plus 1 divided by 4. Now, before we cross multiply, notice that in this numerator, we can write 1 as 1 cubed. And when written in this form, you are going to see the sum of 2 cubes. And we can factorize this. We have that this can be factorized as x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x times 1 plus 1 squared, which of course is equal to 1. In the denominator, we still have x squared. And this is still equal to x squared minus x plus 1 divided by 4. And of course, now that we have the same factor here and here, we can divide both sides by this expression. When we do that, this is going to take care of that, leaving us with x plus 1 over x squared on the left-hand side and 1 over 4 on the right-hand side. And of course, now we can cross multiply. When we cross multiply, you have that x squared times 1 is equal to 4 times x plus 4 times 1, which of course is equal to 4. Now, let us rearrange this quadratic equation. We have x squared minus 4x is equal to let us divide the coefficient of x by 2, square it and add to both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have x squared minus 4x plus minus 2 squared. And this is equal to 4 plus minus 2 squared. And of course, now we have a perfect square on the left-hand side of this equation. So we take 1x and we take 1 minus 2. 
and we square. And this is equal to 4 plus minus 2 squared. Minus 2 squared is equal to 4. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Now we take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 8. Now this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 times 2, which of course is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Of course, you know that the square root of 4 is 2. So this is equal to plus or minus 2 root 2. And from here, we have that x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 2. We have two values of x. We have 2 plus 2 root 2. And we have 2 minus 2 root 2. Now, let us go back to the original equation. Of course, you know that this value of x is positive, while this value of x is negative. Now, in the original equation, we have this. And of course, you know that the argument of a logarithm cannot be negative. So, this value of x is unacceptable as a solution to this logarithmic equation. So the only value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is x equal to 2 plus 2 root 2. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.